So this is the part after reading the, uh, I've read these instructions the other day, but I remember there were some pieces in there. So again, this is a uh, lamp rod. It's got a uh, OD of right at 0.39 plus or minus. So if I get my calipers out, turn them on and measure it point three eight four three point three eight five if I measure the inside diameter of the bearing point three seven so it's 0.01 difference in size. So what the instructions suggest you do, put the, you could do this by hand, but it's better to do it on a lathe. Put this in a lathe in a set of pin jaws. Put it out there and with a very, very fine tooth file, turn this rod and file down the teeth on this rod a little bit, a smidge, not much at all. Can't use a heavy hand. Got to use a light touch when you do this. Probably do it with sandpaper. I have a lot of grits of sandpaper. I'm not sure that I shouldn't just take a piece of sandpaper and do this. So this is, uh, this is one of those items, it's kind of like fitting to the top and when you're making a box and you're going to fit the top, take off a little, take off a little, take off a little, take off a little, check it, check it, check it, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my chuck on with the small jaws on it or the pin jaws on it, put this in it and take this down until I can get this. So, that's what's next. After I do that, then I can into, get into making all of this. What I'm going to do is, is basically ground that down, just, shouldn't say grind, take this down just 0.01, just about. The nuts will still go on there. It should fit in the build, and it's a triple seal bearing. Nut should go in the bearing. Once they go into the, once it, it'll go into the bearing, put the nut on, put the other one on, and put the nut on the end. And then what we're gonna do is basically glue it in place so that uh, it cuts down on any vacuum loss whatsoever. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be actually glued here or glued when it goes into the wood. I haven't read that far in the instructions. But this this is going to be a, uh, a slow piece. It's kind of a long description of what's going to happen here, but uh, this is one of those parts whereby there's a lot of other ways you could do this. This I'm going to make this one based upon his suggestion uh, and what it will do. And then I will judge from there whether I want to make a different type of vacuum vacuum chuck to go with this. Alright, let's get that ready. Okay, so uh, what we have is a set of pin jaws on my Nova chuck. I put in the uh, lamp rod 
the hollow lamp rod and I have it down here and what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to check to see where we're at on this and right now I cannot get this on I have a uh, a magnetized lamp on top of my Nova thing so I'm not going to lose the bearing. So let me get a file, a really fine file. All in all, this procedure took about 20-25 minutes to do. You take a triangular file with a, or a flat file with a very fine tooth on it and you lightly file down the threads that are on the lamp rod that it's provided. Don't file them too far. It's just a trial and error type basis. You keep doing it. When you get it down there far enough so that the nut will go, uh, that the bearing will fit over it, not the nut, the bearing will fit over it. Then you take the nut and you make sure that it still threads on. Uh, it it's just took a while for this to happen. I went very, very slowly. I wanted to make sure that I didn't mess the threads up and made the thing too fast. So I've, I've sped this up so such that you can see uh, basically what I did, you know, what I was doing with the file, wiping off the threads, checking the nut, uh, checking the bearing, checking the nut, doing the different steps that need to be to uh, have this done. Once I got it close, then I uh, just took small baby steps to uh, file this thing down. That's pretty close. I'm going to come over here and uh, give you a shot. I don't know that you can really see that. This is what the threads look like normally. Again, I don't know that that's going to work for your shot. But what I'm going to do is zoom in here. Make sure the nut still works. And it does. Da -da 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 -da. All on there. Not too bad. It did take more, uh, considerably more than what I expected. It took considerably more filing what I expected to get that down but the nuts went back on there fine so I'm pretty happy with it so I'm ready to go on to the next step so let's go see what the instructions say and go from there I think we're about ready to start working with the wood 
Well, I sat here and jabbered to myself for a little while. So here's what the instructions say we we're supposed to do. With lathe running at a reduced speed with a fine tooth file, lightly file threads and reduced diameter of 64th of an inch so that the bearing slides on snugly and second nut can be screwed on. We did that. Now we got to do, take the nuts off, take the bearing off, and put on some Loctite, making sure that it doesn't get inside the bearing. Yeah, I'm going to be real good at that. Mix small quantity of Loctite thread lock and spread on ID of bearing and nuts. Assemble and tighten nuts. Let cure. Check to make sure sealant did not ooze out and get on bearing seal. Oh yeah, well that's easy enough to do. Let me see what the next steps are. Cup attachment methods. Face plate, epoxy embedded nut, beetle threads, tenon or dovetail to fetch your jaw, your uh, four jaw chuck. Da 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 da. A B C D. You can use your imagination. Let me see. All right, so I used uh, I have Loctite thread lock. So I took the bearing and the outer nut off. Removed the uh, inner nut to some degree. Put a little bit of Loctite on there. Screwed it back on. Centered it. That should work fine. Put the bearing on. Everything's cool. Try to put just a little bit of uh, the red thread lock on the lamp rod and got just a bit much on there but I, I got my rag and cleaned it up and put some on there put a little on the outside I'm just kind of sitting here turning the bearing to make sure that it remains free everything seems to be fine I don't think I'm going to have any problem with it whatsoever okay Alright, back in the shop, take my hat off here. What I've got is, is I, I've really been pondering what I wanted to do, how I wanted to put this on here, whether I wanted to dedicate a face plate, use a piece of wood that Bob sent me in the kit, or whatever. Well, I've got a uh, somewhat of a waste block that I have used as a jam chuck on the inside of bowls before has a really nice face plate on it and it's been dedicated to it and I could use that but really what makes a lot more sense is is to cut a uh, a tenon a dovetail tenon on this thing and mark it and then use this piece of wood as my uh, as my vacuum chuck and that's what I think I'm going to do it's just it's just a piece of uh, 2 by 12 I believe it is and so it's got plenty of space for a tenon on there so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to mark uh, what I need for my tenon and then uh, cut that round out the piece do all that other stuff like that and make a tenon on it and then I'll go on to the next steps of drilling with a Forstner bit and making room for the bearing and the nut to go down in here uh, the through hole it has to go through here so right now I have it on a worm screw and uh, all I'm going to do is, is true this up and go from there
right, so I got a 7 8 Forstner bit and a 3 quarter Forstner bit. The 7 8 Forstner bit matches the size of the bearing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in there to a depth of 9 32 of an inch. Okay, at this point in the process, I finished putting my cone on, finished doing some testing, and it just wasn't working right. So I had to go back and look at what I did, and uh, I talk about that more in part three. Part three is, is probably the most important part of this because it shows some of the testing that I did and how I tested the system and how I made it work. Uh, eventually, I get to the point where I have a really solid vacuum system that's working nice. So I hope you'll watch part three. It'll help with the troubleshooting and everything. At this point in time, uh, the vacuum system is put together. The first vacuum truck with the lamp post. Uh, lamp rod in it with the nuts and everything else are put together but uh, I, I didn't use the hot glue situation I used it to do some testing but I didn't use it in the production version so I hope you'll stay tuned for part three and uh, it'll be beneficial to you thank you